What up Alpha, it's Samir and I know on this channel a lot of people watch me because I give advice on how to grow back hair, how to keep and maintain healthy hair and all that good stuff. And with that being said, uh, you know, I always talk about uh, supplements such as Rogaine, Biotin, Salt Palmetto, uh, DHT blocker, shampoos, you know, and all these different products that you can use in order to get your hair back or just to simply reverse your male balding patterns. Now, one aspect of it that I did not cover yet are exercises. Now, I was thinking about this. Exercises are just so beneficial when it comes to growing back hair. One, they're free. Two, they're natural. And three, they only require a little amount of time from your day and you'll be good to go. All right, so all you gotta do is simply do two out of the four exercises and you'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and link the article below where I found all these exercises because these four are my top favorite four that I picked out for myself personally, which I think would work best. But there are also different variations of those exercises so you can check out and find out whatever suits you best. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the simplest exercise that you can do, which is rubbing your nails. Rubbing your nails is something so simple, so easy, and you might even be like, how the hell does rubbing your nails together and actually trigger hair growth? Now, the reason why is because there are nerves under your nails which are actually the same type of nerves that are linked with your hair. And when you rub your nails together, it actually circulates blood flow into your head. Now just do this exercise, you know, 10 minutes a day, you can do it in the shower, and that will really help speed up your hair growth process and stimulate blood circulation into your head. All right, second type of exercise. This is also fairly simple, fairly easy. I do this exercise about three times a week and I'm good to go. And it is just simply giving yourself a scalp massage. Now, when it comes to massages, there's two ways you can do it. First way you can do it is when you're in the shower and you're washing your head and you have the shampoo in your hair, you just simply work the shampoo in your hair and you just circulate the blood flow. Just give yourself a nice hair massage just in and out. Simply just rub and trigger the areas that you're losing hair from. Second way of doing it is by using a hair oil, which is my preferred method. The hair oil that I use, I picked up from my local barber shop, is called Al Shafi. And the best part about this hair growth oil is it has all the essential vitamin, nutrients, the different types of oils such as castor oil, uh, argan oil, avocado oil, all these different oils mixed together with pumpkin seeds and all the good stuff for your hair all packed into one bottle and when you rub that into your hair not only are you getting a good massage but when you're leaving it into your hair for overnight or for a few hours a while it's just left on there that is also stimulating hair growth so if you want to go ahead and check out this hair oil that i use i'm going to link it also in the description below it's very good uh, i personally recommend it i use this three times a week to give myself a hair oil massage and it's amazing so far so good now with the third type of exercise we're going to be getting a little more fancy this exercise is gonna be a handstand. A handstand, you're gonna be doing 30 seconds out of your day. You can't balance yourself just like I can. If you have a wall near you, go ahead and lean up against the wall, crawl up behind it, and just hold yourself upside down on your hands. Now this might be something that you might have to get used to because you're not used to holding your body weight on your hands and you might not even be able to take it for 30 seconds. So start off with like maybe 10 seconds and then increase your time by probably like five seconds until you get to the 30 second mark. It's really not that big of a deal. As long as you can hold that stance there, for about 30 seconds throughout your day. It also rushes blood flow into your head, which it also circulates more hair growth because as we know, more blood circulation into your head equals more hair growth. And this is the perfect exercise to get that blood flowing into your head. If you don't feel like doing a handstand and you simply just don't have the bodily capacity to do it, I got you with something a little more easier. This is called the rabbit pose. But the rabbit pose is also kind of similar to the handstand, but it circulates your blood in a different way because a handstand will do it immediately straight down while the rabbit pose, it kind of just curves slowly down. So they both have their different variations, but both exercises do about the same thing. So with the rabbit pose, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be simply getting onto your knees and then putting your hands under your feet. Once your hands are under your feet, your toes are gonna be flat. 
Once your toes are flat, you're gonna put your head upside down, straight down onto the floor, and that's about it. All you gotta do is you just gotta hold that position over there for about 45 seconds and just feel the blood going through into your head and just make sure to breathe. Because when you breathe, all your muscles that are gonna be tensed up while doing this movement are gonna be relaxed, AKA helping better circulation, and it's just gonna make the overall exercise a lot more easier and more efficient for your body. And that's about it. Those were my four best exercises that I would recommend to you if you're dealing with hair loss or if you're just overall looking to maintain healthy hair. Now again, I'm gonna go ahead and link that article in the description where I found all these exercises. They have like 15 more exercises. Now if you didn't like any of these four that I suggested, there's still a lot more you can choose from. So yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.